My great-grandmother told me this story. He would come to my town, she always started. In my youth, we had these things called bookmobiles. It was a vehicle that would go around giving books out at school. People would come from the next city over just to get a book. The man who operated it was in his mid-thirties, well-kept in every sense of the word. He was very likable. The strange thing about him was the schedule he kept. He would come into town once a year, dispense his books and leave again, coming back the following year. My great-grandmother told me more than once that the driver would give out books and that there seemed to be no limit to his collection. He had any book that anyone asked for, recommended books that no one had ever thought to ask about. Year after year, he would come and take books back, disappear to his vehicle, and produce books for people. Every once in a while, not every year, mind you, he would hand a green book to someone, tell them they would enjoy it, and then send them on their way. No one thought too much of it, my great-grandmother said. But whenever the man would hand someone a green book, whether it be a day, a year, or years, they would always be found dead with the green book slumped over their bodies or just next to the lifeless corpse. The most astonishing thing was that the green book's pages were always blank. <laughs>